here's a shot I took in Kenya in a Maasai village. And I like the picture very much, but I wish the sky would have been a little richer. This is why photographers use polarizing filters uh, to darken a blue sky, but the problem with that is that you lose two stops of light, and I know that I can do the same exact thing in Photoshop after the fact, so this is what I want to show you now. The first thing that you do in this procedure is you make a layer copy, and the shortcut for that is Command or Control J. So I do that on the keyboard, and now right here we have layer one in the layers palette. The second thing that we do is we make a layer mask. Right next to the FX symbol, there's a little circle in a grayed out rectangle. We click that, and now we have a layer mask. You can see it right here. This, this blank white rectangle here represents your layer mask. This actually will fill in with black tones as I create my mask. The next thing we do is in the blend modes, we are going to go to multiply. Multiply is going to make the picture darker overall, like you see. Look at the sky. That's really nice. But the people also went too dark, as did the foreground. So on the gradient tool, we can make a gradient in terms of light and dark. So I'm going to start from the bottom of the frame and go up. And look how this got lighter. Now we're on black to white. So black actually takes away the mask. In the top of the picture, this layer mask is there. So let's continue further up. Uh, notice how I'm going at an angle because the line of women are at an angle. Look how I'm lightening the whole bottom. I'm, I'm experimenting with how long I have to make my line and where I actually start from. And now the whole line of women have been lightened, but the sky stays dark. If we want to see these two women here are still a bit dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off the gradient tool and now go to the brush tool. And the brush tool, I'm going to make this a little smaller with the bracket keys. I'm going to brush away the mask from this lady's face and from this lady's face, maybe a little bit from her, from her just a little bit, bringing them back to how they were originally. And look how quickly, that took what, two minutes? We now have a nice dark sky and the, and the women are are bright. Now what we also could do, we could darken this dirt right here because you want the focus to be on, on the dancers. So if I reverse the black and white and I'm on my paintbrush tool and let's say I make the tool a little bigger with the right bracket key, I can now darken this really dark or Let's undo that. I can lower the opacity to, well, let's say 57%. We can, we can darken the dirt just a little bit. And now look how much attention goes on the subjects. We have this dirt darkened, the sky darkened. In fact, if we want to darken this area of the sky just a little bit, let's bring that down like that. There. Wow, that's perfect. We have exposure where we want it. We darken the sky, darken the foreground, and we did it actually in this case with two tools. We started with the gradient tool. We got that nice blend between 
the two exposures. And then with the brush tool, we just specifically lightened the faces that we wanted. This is a really unique way of using the gradient tool that most people never even think about. So I'm going to save this picture, but before I do, I'm going to flatten my layers. Again, there's no need to keep it, but before I do that, let me show you with these little icon right here and right here, these two icons, you can turn off and on your picture. So we can turn off this uh, layer and layer mask, and that's the original. You can go back and forth to see what you did. Isn't that a dramatic difference? This picture is good if you hadn't seen that one. That one's great. Okay, so we can flatten it. 